When you think of the Colorado Department of Transportation, you likely think of highways and all the vehicles on the roads. Nick Carter joins us now. Nick, CDOT relies on planes to make sure our highways are efficient. But CDOT has its own fleet of airplanes, but these planes don't carry people because they're too small. Tonight we show you one of the big missions assigned to these little aircraft, and we introduce you to the pilot whose job is to fly them. Well, the wind's in a good direction. Dave Wilbur loves to fly. Looks like the wind's a little bit cross up there. <laughs> Model airplanes. I kind of like these better because I'm not risking my life. Just my wallet. But this game isn't kids' play. It has two cameras in there. The, the little video camera is hooked to this transmitter. And that's what, the way we fly it off the TV. We can take an oblique photo of it, and as we fly over it, we can switch the camera and take a vertical photo of it. I'm a little bit nervous. With a quick check of the controls and a quick tweak of the propeller, it's up and away to get some shots. Dave Wilbur is flying a mission. <laughs> He's taking aerial photographs for the Colorado Department of Transportation. I tried to keep it orange. Today's flight is over Powers Road in Colorado Springs. The plan is to build a new entrance onto I-25. Can you see it? It's pretty small. The project engineer wants pictures to chart CDOT's progress on road construction. Okay, hold it right. Right. There is where it is. The pictures are analyzed to make sure the project is being completed on time. Hiring out a photographer in a full-scale airplane can cost hundreds or even thousands of dollars per hour for a photo mission like this. But using this remote-controlled airplane only costs $60 an hour. And that represents a tremendous savings to us, the taxpayers. Oh, yeah, that looks good. And it's not just the folks at CDOT who ask for Dave's flying photo service. We've done work for uh, the Department of Military Affairs. We took pictures of all the armories in the state, all the port of entries, just about all the maintenance yards. A serious business. How's the al altitude, Ty? With a little twist of fun. I don't think it's the prettiest thing, but it works. <laughs> Dave Wilbur loves to fly. That was a blast. That was a blast. It was a pretty good landing, too. Now, CDOT has also used these remote control photo planes to analyze landslides similar to the one that happened in Glenwood Canyon last week. They check bridges and overpasses and roads, save us a lot of money in the process, and I guess they also have a little bit of fun, too. Yeah, it does look like fun. Thanks, Nick.